You know, we've talked a lot about, um, about the responsibilities of people on television. And, you know, I think you've got more responsibility than you think you've got. That's definitely true. And, you know, I think you've uh, been handsomely paid to be on television for, for many years, and there's, there's a certain responsibility that comes with it. But he was talking about Clarkson, right. who seems to me to be sort of your equivalent, but in kind of Alice in Wonderland world, in that he comes from a different side of you, but sort of does controversial things and is uh, picked up on it, but he seems to get away with it all the time. But without thinking. So if there's no content, it's fine. So I did a joke about um, Israel's uh, last assault on Gaza. I did two jokes on a show called Political Animal. I was censured by the BBC Trust, and they called the jokes anti-Semitic, right? which they weren't. Um, and I wrote a response. Uh, Clarkson tells a nursery rhyme that ends in the word nigger, and the controller of BBC One is coming out to defend him and say he's not a racist. And the reason is, there's no content to what he's saying. So it can be defended. If you want to defend what I'm saying, you've got to actually talk about the situation in Gaza. What would you do with Clarkson if you were his boss? Sack him. You know, because he's a cultural tumour. You know? <laughs> he, he comes from... He comes from a very bad place, and the reason that he's tolerated is that he's recognised by people in power. They know people like Clarkson. In fact, he knows Cameron. He's a friend of Cameron's. He's, a, he's in there like a fucking growth, and he should be removed because he's horrible, you know? There's a, there's, there's a counter-argument, which uh, I, I will put to you, um, which, is, which is an interesting... It's not a defence of him, but, but, it, but it's, it's an interesting sidebar, which is that's an enormously successful show. Yeah. for the BBC, and an enormous... That's why it's defended, because it's enormous... But successful. is it defended because you were suggesting he's a member of the establishment, or is it defended because it makes an awful lot of money for the BBC? It's a proper big money spinner, and it, and, and it does fund an awful lot of other television. Well, a mixture of both, but I wonder if they have the rights to the show without Clarkson, because if they had the rights to it... I mean, there's a certain feeling you get in television where people would be quite happy with three-quarters of the ratings or half the ratings. Do you know what I mean? Providing that they avoided the, the scandals. So I wonder if there's some rights issue with Clarkson. I don't know anything about it. That's Clarkson told.